Hello, so I wanted to talk about something a bit disturbing and something we should all be prepared for really, and this is mostly a UK video, but my, maybe my American watchers will find this interesting. So I've got this mask on as a prop and I'll probably take it off fairly soon if you can't hear me very well. But it's uh, how likely are we as the public in Britain likely to be um, targeted with CS gas? Now, I've spoken about CS gas before, I'm just going to take the mask off so you can hear me better. But this is the mask I always use as a prop in lots of videos because it's one that I've got set up with a filter anyway. Uh, just to get sidetracked, this is one of those um, Draeger filters that was on the um, M65 masks. This one's from November 1986. However, um, I've heard some people say these contain asbestos, but I really doubt this model does just because it's how late, you know, in the 80s it was made. But whatever. Uh, maybe I'm screwing myself over. So back to the subject, that's the what reason I always use this one as a prop, because I've already just got this sitting in the cupboard with a filter on it, so if I want to grab a mask it saves opening a satchel and setting one up with a filter. So, um, you know, how likely is CS to be used against the public? Now, officially, CS gas has only been used in mainland Britain, so this is excluding Northern Ireland, only once but that's not actually true. So the only time it was supposedly used on the public was I think in either the Brixton riots or one of the 1980s set of riots, and I know I'm going to have somebody going, oh, you don't know enough about the event to talk about this because you don't even know which exact riot it was. I've watched different documentaries, some say other riots in that, but supposedly it was just one of, you know, like the sort of race riots in the 80s, um, or inner city sort of, you know, deprivement riots. Um, and that was supposedly the only time CS was used to keep order. So the idea being that obviously CS gas, even though CS isn't actually a gas, which I've covered before, but we'll call it CS gas for the sake of this video because everybody does. CS gas is sort of very good at crowd control because you can sort of spray it into an area, um, it will distribute, and then it's very uncomfortable to stay in that area. Your eyes burn, your mouth and your nose burns, you know, you've got snot and phlegm everywhere, sort of you're crying almost, um, you know, your eyes are filling up with fluid. So, um, you know, it's not nice to be around it. So, um, like lots of people have said, if they've been in the military, they use CS gas in the sort of gas chamber training exercise to give you mask confidence. You know, you wear the mask in there, realise it doesn't affect you, take the mask off, it's horrible. And that teaches you, you know, that your mask will save your life in a chemical incident, so it tells you to trust your mask. But, back on the subject. CS is very good against people who are untrained, because I often hear people say, well, the army, they, they've had soldiers exposed to CS, and they're, they're alright, yes, because that's because they're grown, adult, strong men that are trained for it for the most part. I know there's women in some military fields and whatever else, but, you know, soldiers are sort of expected to do it due to pain barrier reasons and whatever else. If you have frail people or whatever that are exposed to CS, the results can be very different. As I said, CS can kill people, it has before, because... It's not, it's one of those less lethal things, but it's still technically a chemical weapon, you know. If you're asthmatic or have other breathing problems, you're in a bit of trouble if you get a big whiff of CS, to be honest. So, officially, back to the subject, the only time in mainland Britain, uh, I said excluding Northern Ireland, um, CS was used was in one of those 1980s riots. However, I said this is not true, because the reason being that lots of police carry um, what's like pepper spray, but it's actually CS gas in a little spray can. And... I assume that's methylene chloride in there because, as I've said before, CS is not actually a gas. CS is a powder. It's a particulate weapon, but it's often distributed um, more in a vapour form by you basically dissolve the CS powder in methylene chloride. I think methylene chloride has a few other names, but it's kind of like paint stripper stuff. Um, and then you have like you know something that compresses it out of a can, and that's used so you can actually spray it. Now. So basically the majority of police officers from what I understand carry CS as a spray, like a self-defence pepper spray. However, there's lots of videos of protests and riots where the police are very liberally just spraying this in people's faces. So, CS gas has been used more than once is what we can, you know, gather from that. I've also read that CS is often sometimes used when armed police storm a building. You know, they will have their FM-12s on or whatever. You shoot CS in first to, you know, disorientate that if you had a gunman inside before storming the building, so it's much easier to subdue or neutralise them, because, you know, they're coughing and they can't see very well compared to if they were, you know, uh, totally in their element uh, when you storm the building. So, how true that is, I don't know, because, you know, when you look at media reports and they say tear gas was used or smoke grenades were used, it's very vague and often they're journalists, you know, like I said, journalists don't know what they're actually talking about, so... You know, in that regard, I don't know how um, 
you know, true it is when they say CS has been used or, you know, whatever. But the point is that police officers have and can and will, you know, use CS gas. It's made available to lots of police. Not in a big riot gun form, but in a little spray bottle form. So, now we know that CS is available to officers, how likely is it to be used? Well, as I said, I am very worried about the state of the UK turning more and more into a police state. You have to be very careful what you say online. I think I'm probably on a watch list for all these videos, I do. Even though, you know, I, as I said, I have no problem with the average police officer. I'm sure lots of people sign up to the police because they want to do a good job. My problem is the much more, you know, political overshadowing of the police, telling the police who they should be arresting, not for people, you know, committing crimes. Also the fact that other people have mentioned this to me. The police have this approach now, supposedly, where all the times they, they're called in to react to crimes, not to have preventive, you know, measures of police strolling around. Because when I think of the police, I'd much rather have police on the streets, you know, actually policing, in a sense, uh, preventing crime from taking place, rather than just arresting the person after they commit a crime. What would you rather have, you know, a mugger saying, well, it's a bit too dangerous to oper operate around here, then, you know, so I won't mug people in this area. Or have a mugger saying, well, I could actually mug somebody and get away before the police turn up. You know, that might result in people being stabbed to death when they're mugging them. You know, it's much more sensible, in my opinion, to have preventive policing. But back to the subject. So, I'm saying, I am worried about the UK turning more and more into a police state, as a lot of people are. So then you have, you know, every officer potentially carrying, you know, a chemical weapon on them. CS gas is a chemical weapon. It was developed by Porton Down as a... Um, along with a lot of the other tier agents, you know, in a less lethal chemical weapon approach. So, you think as the police get more militarised, which is something that is happening, um, but the numbers are further cut, more pre you know, more pressure put on regular officers, would they be more likely to resort to using CS gas? And then if CS was used on an elderly or a vulnerable person, would, um, you know, would the policeman be charged by that? Could that result in people dying? Because, you know, if you just give them CS gas and you're told, you know, you can use it um, before hitting somebody with a baton or something like that. Because I did see a video where there was some sort of hippie protesters. I don't know exactly what they are protesting about in the countryside. It might have been a fracking protest, something like that. And there were police just going tss -tss into people's faces. Some of them, they were spraying kids with it, which is pretty horrible. I know maybe you shouldn't bring your kids along to protests like that. But from the video, I could see, you know, the protesters did look fairly calm but you don't actually know do you that somebody could have thrown a brick or something before that bit was filmed and then it's edited in such a way to make the police look bad you'd have to weigh those things up but my point you know being that people who were basically didn't look like they should be dealt with that in that way were sprayed liberally with cs so it does make you think um but back to the sort of subjects i was talking about i'm getting a bit wheezy now of my asthma so i have to use my inhaler moment it's funny talking about cs is that you know, that's what worries me, that officially it's only been used once, but it is used more than that. So again, the official narrative, oh, we only use CS once in some big riots, is a bit worrying. During the London riots, CS wasn't used when it actually could have been used to good effect. So when, you know, there was looting and burning down of neighbourhoods and the police stood back and did nothing, they formed containment rings rather than actually going in and beating the shit out of the rioters and saving people and their businesses and their homes. Um, you have to kind of think about it like that. CS hasn't been used when it should have been used, but it's often used when it shouldn't be used. So, you've got a bit of a dilemma here. So, again, if you want a respirator to protect you from CS after watching all this, a half-face respirator with um, airtight goggles, whether that be ski goggles, swimming goggles, things like that would work. Um, or just go for the full face mask approach. Now, in theory, you only need a particulate level 3 or P100 filter to actually protect you from CS, because as I said, it's a powder. But when it's dissolved in methylene chloride, I don't actually know if it's then technically a vapour. So I think, you know, there's, as I say, ABEC P3 combination filters never hurt for that sort of thing. But for the most part, a particulate filter does work against most uses of CS, of course. A mask like this also protects your eyes. Because CS gets into your eyes and, you know, your breathing tract and is very nasty stuff. Um, unless you buy specific stuff to neutralise CS, what you want to do is use cold water, apparently. Some people were telling me this and I did look it up and it seems true. Hot water will make CS worse. Um, but cold water, it, you know, does give you some relief from the burning and everything else. So, yes, I am a bit more worried that CS might be used against people. Chemical warfare against civilians, basically. Um, so... You know, another reason to own a mask, but pay attention to it. But yeah, 
don't believe the official line when you are told in the UK CS has only been used once because that's clearly not the truth. It's only the truth for people who don't want to dig into it. It's only, you know, been used in a riot once by being fired, you know, like ferret rounds kind of thing, once like that. But in terms of regular police being issued with CS and being able to spray it at people, um, they can do that whenever they want. I mean, I know there's paperwork and whatever else. Red tape, maybe they'll get a disciplinary for it, I don't know. But the fact is that, you know, CS is available to the police force in the UK, so it might be used against you.